ladies and gentlemen today we have in our studio dr uh, shoshana chilgozi ajibe from uh, geneva from world health organization uh, she is here to help us understand and burst all the famous myths that we have created around this uh, infamous covid 19 uh, welcome to our studios dr uh, ajibe Uh, Dr. Shoshana Chilgozi Ajibe. Yes, uh, yes uh, yep. Dr. Shoshana Chilgozi Ajibe. Uh, uh, welcome to our studios. Welcome. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, our viewers are very, very uh, grateful that you have taken time out of your very busy schedule to mm-hmm. to educate us about the, uh, how to how to look at COVID-19 and how to uh, understand uh, this virus okay. and and uh, and not be guided by any misconceptions, superstitions uh, that surround it. Uh, over to you, Dr. Okay. Ajibe. Okay. First of all. I want to clarify okay I've uh, uh, yes thank you for having me but uh, it's not like I'm in India you know I accept your invitation but we are online now so uh, I am right here I'm still in Geneva in, in, in case you're getting uh, scared like how how did she come uh, no I did not come I'm still sitting here we are talking on the phone okay which brings me to the first one okay 5G mobile network I keep reading about this everywhere. 5G mobile network is spreading this. The COVID-19 is spreading on the 5G mobile network. I mean, guys, come on. Uh, the thing is that um, the coronavirus, the droplet is really heavy, okay? So uh, it uh, it kind of drops and falls down. When it comes out of the person's mouth, maybe three meter, <coughs> maximum maybe five meter, okay? True, true. Yes? But uh, the 5G network is traveling more than 5 meter, okay? <laughs> In the air, it is traveling maybe 100 meter, 200 meter, sometimes 1,000 meter. Okay, you cannot take the coronavirus on a piggyback and travel all the way. The virus is going to fall no. off. First of all, the 5G mobile network cannot carry the coronavirus all the way from uh, one place uh, to the other. So you can uh, relax. You can talk on the phone. You can watch the video. You can use the headphone. You can do whatever you want. Huh? I see people with their mobile phone is in one corner and they got this really, really long headphones, you know, 5 meter, 10 meter. They want to stand away from their phone and listen to their music. Come on. I think you can listen to the music and dance near your phone. It's okay. Relax. Thank you. Uh, well, we, we also uh, hear a lot of things about how people should not uh, uh, should expose themselves to sun, and maybe extreme sun can kill this virus, which is probably lying on surfaces. What? Uh, Where surfaces. you hear that? Uh, but it's all over the newspapers and, and okay. all over social, social media. media. Okay, one minute. Let me check. Uh, uh exposing yourself to the sun ah okay i can see this yeah exposing yourself to the sun uh, hot and humid climate <laughs> oh my god guys listen this is not the time to go to bali okay you stay where you are in the hot water bath ah okay this can be very relaxing but i don't know about uh, whether it can kill a virus uh, i don't know um okay so now the thing is that um and you know we in china we had this problem a few months ago uh, a few weeks ago actually uh, in this big hospital suddenly everybody uh, is coming with the tone larynx and the vocal cords are ripped off and then there's a few people with the stomach is burned the second degree burn unit is completely full why because uh, somebody give them this idea on social media that they should stand in front of a steamer open their mouth really wide and take all the hot hot steam inside and <laughs> then what happened is the hospital is full there are no beds for corona people huh? there's all the beds are taken by these people with all the burnt skin and the burnt throat and come on uh, don't be stupid use your head But true doctor also i have heard that uh, uh, if you can hold your breath for more than a certain amount of time you can fight coronavirus do you think there is any uh, uh, any any logic in that I mean, you know, if you can hold your breath for 10 or 20 seconds or maybe more, I think you should try for the Olympic sport of some kind, you know. I think maybe the swimmer, the diver, that kind of thing is good for uh, uh, that kind of thing. But Doctor, I've also heard that this coronavirus, if, you're, uh, if, if you get the coronavirus, then, then it stays with you for life and uh, you can't get rid of it. Is, is that... <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> you, know, you know, my friends, it's a virus, right? It's not a marriage, <laughs> okay? True. It's all going to stay with you for life. Uh, they, uh, okay, so we found uh, the chicken pox virus. We had, uh, what is that? Uh, the smallpox uh, is a virus. Uh, and uh, if when you recover from the chicken pox as a child, you know, you have all the blisters, all the boils, and what does it leave you with in the end, yeah? Just a few pits on your nose, maybe a few pits on your cheeks. That's it. 
that's all you have for a memory you don't have the virus it's not you don't take chicken pox all your life and stay with it you just got a few pits to remember so i think the coronavirus uh, is not going to stay with you for life guys come on don't be stupid use your head <laughs> but there are also some people saying that if you cover your body if you bathe with alcohol or if you if you put chlorine all over your body then uh, then you can actually get rid of this virus what what are you planning to do Huh? What are you planning to do? You plan to make people sit on their road and take a horse pipe and put all this alcohol all over their body? Come on guys. You have a whole festival for that. It's over. It's already gone. Okay? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> True. Don't make people sit down and spray things on their body. It's no good. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I get a little bit angry there, but we we move on. You know, I must say that I really I really appreciate the name of your series, Use Your Head. You know, because when I was a child, my mother used to always come out running from the kitchen and if I do something silly, she would say, Shoshana, don't be stupid. Use your head. Thank you very much for joining us on this episode of Use Your Head. Mm-hmm.